why are we here and why are we born? Two questions that humanity has asked for all its from the beginning of its existence all of the time. So now mm, there is an answer of that question of those two questions to be precise. Well, first of all, we are born to experience our life experience, body experience whatsoever. But um, why is there a purpose? Yeah, there is a purpose, but it's individual person. purpose. It's not uh, one and the same for everyone. Anyways, we all are going to one direction eventually if we are going for the highest. Mm, well, if we are going to the best highest purpose. Going for it means to go in one direction, to make the world a better place, a better place, when, and to give the opportunity to the new generations uh, to be even better. It's gra gradation and it's, it ain't stop at any point. It's going forever. It's it's endless process, like I have say, said, it's extend, extending and it could make always one more way to extend in a different direction or whatsoever. And it's always, it's like it is actually mathematic, mathematic. you can prove it by maths. So. Now, uh, there's something that I have to tell you now because it's really hurting to see so many people going away out of their will. We're experiencing great times when if you actually use your willpower, you can have anything. You can have something, you can have many things, maybe even at some points better things if you don't, if you go by your fate or whatsoever they call it. But like I, I have said, it's an autopilot. If you're going to use your right to power, out pilot all your life where are you going actually it's it's fucked up it's actually um, leading to a crash at some point or even if it ain't a crash it would be something like well um landing it's always landing it's going to that direction it's trying to land because why why to keep on flying when there's no purpose, there's no willpower, why is it going? So that's very important, you have to understand that all these people, they are not true, That they are not true with their self, all these people that are telling you to just be yourself, yourself is what you want to be, it's not, it's not a desire, yes it's not, but anyways it's what you want to be, try to make your dreams come reality. Every enlightened person is uh, saying that if you're on a higher, higher consciousness, have higher consciousness, you just wouldn't want the same material or whatsoever real, realistic desires. So you just wouldn't have that desire. And that's not a problem. You're going for your purpose using your willpower to not do. It's also some use of willpower. It's again your will to not do, but it's very important that you make a, rea a reality check and decide what are you planning, what is your purpose, why are you here, Why? what are you fighting for, because life is a fight, you, we, we don't even have to say that, it's so clear. So that's what I want to say. Try to go for your dreams. Try to make some if you don't have and go for them. 
but just don't don't well paint so much on fate because if you're painting someone else is controlling you you're going for the plan of someone else you're literally some will have to be in use so that the person can actually do anything and not only do but also there are many processes all of the processes need willpower so if you're not going for your purpose you're going for the purpose of someone else and literally there are many people that don't even know their master's purpose they don't know their master they don't even know that that they have masters they um they're going the way of the will of their master which is unknown to them it's that's worse than slavership slave ship yeah well whatsoever it's worse than slave ship because they're worse than slaves they are slaves but they are don't don't understanding that they are not don't they don't even know that they are slaves and it's fucked up it's it's not okay it doesn't matter it, even there if they're um living happy life because it cannot be happy in real but well if they're thinking they're uh, well maybe normal life in brackets again is something they could be living but still it that's nothing that normal life you can just throw it away why are you living alive without purpose and without just to be like the other people there are now other people you're you you have all, all of the you have to control your life it's you there it's not yeah maybe it's god again it's you're part of god okay you're got yourself i mean he's in you he is everywhere in everything but also you have the full responsibility for your actions and you have to understand that it's that period that you have to understand we are living in that age that you have to understand that you have to already know that and you have to be already doing something about it or not doing like i said but you have to live on your individual plan i it's not about i'm not against that we are all one but anyways you cannot just continue continuing doing one and the same thing going for that hell uh, circle mm, for example wake up go to work then after work drink with friends or whatsoever and come back home it's it's not working even you can do that but you have to also have a plan to do something to to help humanity to help the planet to help the universe to try to extend something try to make something new or even if it is not new make some art make some something that will make a change that's your purpose and that's that's it there is a simple answer to that question what is the purpose of life well now hear that and think about it and it's very important to start you don't have to think in a bad manner yeah but you have to think it's not there there are many teachers masters they are saying that you have the ability to not think you cannot and you're taught already your <laughs> yourself mm, yourself is also made of thoughts yes it's it has some influence if we could say outer but it's not really like that you're making yourself so you're already thinking you are thinking at any moment meditation is a sort of thinking you're trying to connect to a higher consciousness then you have to think in a different manner but it's still thinking don't try to avoid thinking it's it would be very bad for you it won't help you you can learn how to think you can um, calm your thinking but still 
don't try to fight the thought in yourself it's literally against you uh, that's for now that's what um i'll be continuing uh, that conversation that that talk that presentation whatsoever I'll call it however you want but remember that and think about it it's very clear and it's simply explained and if you check out some resources you'll find that it's actually like that and yeah that's it that's it for now